We're here today at Terry Black's Barbecue, the world famous, some say the best brisket in the world, and today we're gonna to find out whether or not this place really lives up to the hype. I'm not just gonna take my word for it, I'm gonna be joined by Chris Williamson himself. If you don't know about this place, you should get excited. Oh my oh. God, is that Zach Tellender? The what YouTube are you sensation. With... Are you excited for Terry Black's? Of course, man, this is my zone. You've got 10 this seconds is... to explain what Terry Black's is. The best barbecue on planet Earth. Is Terry Black's really worth the hype? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What should people expect? Uh, the best brisket, the a lot best of meat. Bread. Brisket, the, my favorite thing is the jalapeno cheese sausage. And, and to top it off, of course he likes the sausage, you know. Oh. <laughs> Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, on the oh. fountain, fucking from the source. Yeah. So you tap into the stream of Dr. Pepper yeah. that flows through Texas. the United States. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. can we see the pits? Yeah. Hey Sanchez, can you show off some of your briskets? Which one, this one? Oh my yeah. god. We're doing a little rotation right now. We'll rotate every three hours. These have been on for the first oh. three and a half, coming up on four hours. These will go for about nine hours unwrapped, and then we'll wrap them up in butcher paper once they Ooh. hit about 180 internal, and then uh, stick them back in for about two or three more hours. So each brisket is in here for about 11 to 12 hours. And just salt and pepper. Salt, pepper, apple and cider smoke. vinegar spritz, butcher's paper. Oh. So, oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Absolutely, y'all have a great insane. day. The lean is just as nice as the as the mice. Um, that's so that's, where the flavor is, mate. That is where the flavor is. Let's go to town with jalapeno cheese sausage, please. Did you get enough food? It's a war crime if it's not. The brisket, uh, pork rib, jalapeno cheddar sausage. I think we got regular sausage as well. Beef rib turkey, but my it's favorite. Pork rib. That's what I said. Pork rib. My, my favorite is the pork rib, but you get a piece of the brisket, eat it by itself. You eat the pork rib by itself. Ever since we started talking about the U.S. and Canada tour, it was always finish it in Austin, go to Terry Black's, finish at the mothership. That was that's been the plan. I in this. I've absolutely destroyed this. I need the tongs, Zach. Who needs the tongs? Just grab it with your fingers. Big time. That's the one that I want. Right there. Every man for himself. Yep. There's just nothing like this. Great bite. That's a great bite. Oh my god. Now you can now use the sauce. I'm I'm not, you're like, I've been doing it wrong. Oh fuck, I need a pork rib or something. Give the man a pork rib. Alright, Etienne, give me the camera. Just the, the flavor Come on, of the beef is so good though. Go for the brisket first, like, yeah, oh, that's right. It in sauce like Get that, that in you. Bro. Work rip, I'm proud of you. Don't come here. Frequency. The same yeah, reason why yeah. you should well, never I mean, sleep with Margot Robbie. Like the because there's, there's nothing else. From there's nothing back. You come here, a little party, you get sad. Nothing will be like this again. Typically, most barbecue places will go through that in like a year. What would you start with? It's called post oak. It's all native here to Central Texas. It's ideal for what we're doing. Like when you tasted that, what did you taste? Meat. That's what you want to taste. You don't want to taste a bunch of artificial like. So seasoning. to recreate this, if you wanted to do this in London, you need the wood. You would we'll do it in London. Y'all are in like London. Y'all got probably basic wood, like not a lot, of, a lot of crazy flavorful wood. So like any kind of oak or things like that, you could do that with. It's insane the, the art and craft that goes into it. These guys do uh, oh, yeah. wedding catering. Yeah. So this is like uh, a brisket that are on the smoker right now. Those are actually for tomorrow. So we're cooking 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And then if you notice the sign on the table, you can't sit down until you have food. How many per night? 2,000 a night minimum? We got, yeah, we got problems. Some say we're active. Okay. Because of football, American football, Cheers. I have like slightly disordered eating because all I was told my entire childhood, eat more, eat more, eat more, it doesn't matter, you can never eat enough. I just took those habits and I just have never let, let them go. I don't eat until I'm like, oh, that was nice. I eat until it's like, oh my God, I feel yeah. so sick. And you do the same. 
People that just stop eating when they're full? Who the fuck? Who are you? <laughs> Feed your friends until they get sick so you feel better about yourself. Chris, do you want to be able to this? Do you watch Beard Meat Food? But he'll do a food challenge, he'll break records, and then he'll be like, oh, I'll have a look at your dessert menu. My dad's a sports writer. One time in like the 90s, he had to write about competitive eating. And he went behind the scenes after the competitive eating contest. There was vomit everywhere. They chuck up. Yeah. Beard Meat Food, he, he wouldn't do that. How do you know, dude? Yeah. Adam wouldn't regurgitate food. He wouldn't, he's not like that. There is no after picture of that or before. Isn't it? Today I was defeated by brisket. I feel physically ill. I ate so much, but that food is just it's the best brisket on earth. Make sure you come to us to say it. I've had to unbutton my jeans. I'm off to the comedy mothership, so I'll let you know what that's like too. Maybe don't maybe don't come here. Don't come here. Save yourself. Have a silence. Have a silence.